On the Austin Tobin Plaza, there were corpses everywhere. The mangled bodies of men and women who had already jumped or fallen from the upper floors of the building. And the charred remains of passengers from Flight 11, some still belted into their seats. Far above, meanwhile, in the upper reaches of the towers themselves, the gaping black holes where the planes had gone in marked a stark dividing line between life and death. In the North Tower, the plane struck at the center and it also struck much higher up. And because it struck at the center, the fuel immediately went down the shafts and created a much broader fire. The flames were much more intense. The number of floors that were available to move up and down were many fewer. So what happened was people were breaking windows in the North Tower, desperate to get air. And there was no place to go because there were no stairwells that were open up and down. People were stacked four or five on top of each other at the broken windows, desperate to breathe. And other people were, were hanging on to each other across the, the steel columns from window to window, hanging out of the windows, desperate to breathe, and just you know grasping each other to keep hold of the building. One of the most horrific scenes in the history of the nation took place a thousand feet above Lower Manhattan. And it took the lives of people who were staring down at safety, you know, at the most populous city in the nation, civilization at its peak. But they didn't have anywhere to get there. And there's really, there's really few words to describe how terrible that must have been.